Representative Ilhan Omar. Representative Ilhan is the newly elected Minnesota House Representative for District 60B. She is the first Somali American Muslim woman in the nation to hold an office at this level. Ilhan is an experienced policy analyst, progressive DFL activist, coalition builder, and humanitarian. Most recently, she served as the director of policy initiatives at Women Organizing Women, where she empowered East African women to take civic leadership roles in their community. Ilhan lives in the West Bank neighborhood of Minneapolis with her husband and their three children. Representative Ilhan Omar. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, what a crowd. So I have to confess, I um, didn't pay attention to how many people were RSVPing for this event. <laughs> and, and I was just telling uh, the folks backstage that I thought it was like 100 people in a, in a community room. Um, so I took my kids to the mall today and I was very relaxed. I wasn't even thinking about how this was gonna go. Um, and then they said uh, there's 1,500 people on, in the audience. So this is, <laughs> this is, this is a wonderful, wonderful surprise. It looks like we're all building for the resistance. So I know that a lot of people are feeling down and a lot of people are asking themselves what should we be doing? And I think both, both of those things are good, good reactions. I remember when 9-11 happened, I just graduated from high school, I was getting married and I was really uh, excited about what my life was going to be like. And then that extreme tragedy of 9-11 happened. And for the first time, it felt like I was extremely alone. I remember riding the bus from the Mall of America and feeling as if everybody on that bus was staring at me. I remember thinking, I don't know who is a friend. I don't know who would stand up for me if I was attacked on this bus today. I remember going home and talking to my father and, and asking him what I should be doing and how I can make myself look peaceful, non-threatening. He said, you're tiny and <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know who's afraid of you, Ilhan. <laughs> but that was an honest feeling I had. And I know it was a feeling that was shared by all of the Muslims that lived in the United States. It felt like our neighbors, our friends, our colleagues, our teachers, everybody was turning on us because they too didn't know what we were anymore. But today, there are a lot of people who are making a similar comparison, a comparison to what's happening with the Muslim ban and what the new administration is planning on doing to our community, the divide that they are creating. 
But there's one thing that is distinctly different today. Today, all of us are standing together. Today, when I'm on the bus, I no longer have to look around to think if something were to happen to me, who would stand up for me? Because I know everyone will have my back. Just yesterday, I was at the University of Minnesota's uh, law, s law school, and a person in the audience said, Ilhan, can you tell us? Do you feel supported at the Capitol? Do you feel supported as a Muslim in your neighborhood? And I said, yes. I didn't even have to think. Because today we understand what's at stake. What is at stake is our collective progress. What's at stake is our country's ideals. What's at stake is the beautiful democracy that all of us love and hold dear. Today, we understand that while this new administration wants to build walls, that we are going to build bridges. Today, we understand while this new administration says we are going to ban Muslims, that we say refugees are welcome here. <laughs> so I am excited for today and tomorrow. I am not afraid, and I know you are not afraid, and together, we can be really brave. So the next step for us in this resistance is to make sure that we are having conversations with people who might still be living in the shadows of ignorance, people who still don't know what it's like to enjoy the beautiful democracy, the welcoming environment we've all accustomed to. People who don't understand that a fundamental belief that we all have is that our love for neighbor is important, that progress doesn't happen one day, but it happens with collective steps that you and I have more in common than not, that all of us need to work for the progress that we know our country can have. When I was younger, when we first came to this country, when I first realized that the America I thought I was coming to wasn't really the America I arrived in, my grandfather said to me that the progress that was in the ideals of America was one that I had to work towards. And today, we all must understand and carry that message of my grandfather. The progress we all want is something we must all work towards. And so let's regroup and continue to resist. Love you all.